Our video of the day comes from the freeways of LA, where ceasefire protesters caused huge traffic jams until drivers got frustrated and confronted them. Roll it. Ceasefire now! Ceasefire now! Ceasefire now! Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. I hope we had that on tape. Uh oh. I would say that's a problem. I think I think they're handling it quite well. You know what would make that better? Some Christmas music. <laughs> Cops say 75 protesters were arrested, but you know they were let go faster than a fart in the green room at The View. <laughs> Jamie, uh, one of the protesters said, we cannot sit by as people in Gaza are starved and slaughtered, but that's literally what they were doing. <laughs> oh, you're right. Some of them were sitting by. Yeah. <laughs> they were standing by and sitting by. I feel like protesters are doing it all right. I feel like protesters, if they're trying to convince you of something, all they do is inconvenience us. Yeah. Shouldn't they be like, hey, like if they got me into a car and took me for a ride in the carpool lane, I'll listen to what you got to say. Yeah. But they're making the traffic worse. They're always, right? They're always, they're always trying to, my, um, I don't know if I ever told you guys that my ex-wife was actually a big protester. It was mostly during sex. And um, <laughs> she, she wanted a ceasefire. <laughs> um, Terrible. She got it. Yeah, she got it. Uh. <laughs> All right, you know, um, uh, Kat, you know, here's the theory I was thinking of. If a person physically gets in your way, blocking your egress, the source word, in a personal way, it's your right of self-defense to get past them. Why isn't that the case here? Why can't you push them aside, throw them off? You know, I'm not saying run over them, but I'm not not saying that. <laughs> no, I am. No, I'm saying don't do that. Because pedestrians have the right of way. <laughs> <laughs> I learned that when I got my driver's license. Um, I okay. Any of those people who are protesting, every single one of them, no matter what side of this issue you're on, if you are in that traffic jam, you're pissed off. Yeah. It doesn't matter what side of the issue you're on, what you believe when you're not in a traffic jam. A person in traffic is not the person they are any other time. Right. Right. And they're just getting people that pissed off. I mean, especially in L.A., there's so much traffic already. Mm -hmm. And people who are in that protest can't see that because not only because of what they think about the issue and what they're protesting, but also because they don't have anywhere to be at no, that they point. They don't. So yeah. the people who do have somewhere to be, there could be any range of things that are very important. People need to get somewhere. You're not going to win anyone over like that. Exactly, Tyrus. Uh, one of these days, they're going to upset the wrong people. Imagine a guy who's taking his wife to the hospital. Or imagine a gang of You don't even have to go that far. Imagine a guy who's driving in the car with his wife. <laughs> and she's, you know, backseat driving from the front seat. She can't see what's in front of you, and it's your fault. If you would have left 15 minutes earlier, this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> so guess what? I couldn't wait to get out of the car and talk to them. <laughs> Listen, I'm more, I have two points on this. I am so offended. I grew up in California. Now, if they'd have pulled this on the 405 mm -hmm. or the oh, 10, yeah. Santa Monica, I get it, right? <laughs> but they did this on the 110, mm -hmm. next to the Staples Center. Yeah. Slauson Swap Meet, yeah. by Crenshaw Boulevard. <laughs> Where are the hood when we need it? <laughs> like, have we all gotten that soft? <laughs> Because all it really would have taken was a guy wearing a flannel in the dead of summer going, there a problem here? There a problem? You got, like, I don't get it. Like, the, 
And the second thing, how stupid are you? So they had a meeting and said, listen, this guy's has gone on for too far. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to protest on the 110 freeway. Meanwhile, while this was going on, over in Israel, they were getting ready to attack, and there was a call that came in and said, you're not going to believe this shit. What? They're protesting on the 110 in California. <laughs> <laughs> they want a ceasefire now. <laughs> Wrap it up, fellas. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. It's over. 14 dumb <laughs> without a job said ceasefire, so let's go. Rob, do you ever wonder what you would do if you were in this situation? Well, I, this just, it's not raising awareness, Tyrus. That's what they're doing. <laughs> like, the other day, I was at an LBGTQ plus rally for Hamas. <laughs> they, and I invited them all to a KKK rally for Black Lives Matter. And then I thought we finished it up at a fundraiser for underage pedophile, well, underage uh, children for pedophiles fundraiser. <laughs> See, I that up at the end. <laughs> so close. No, um, it's just... Uh, they're just trying to get on the news, and they succeeded, didn't they? Yeah. But we, I don't consider us the news, though. <laughs> no, no. We're better than the news. We're better than the news. We're the news plus. <laughs> better than the news. I think we have a new slogan. Gutfeld, better than the news. <laughs> All right, we're going to move on. If our breaths ruining the planet, should science ban it?